in this last video tutorial uh, of the uh, topic uh, uh, related to multi-criteria decision making, uh, we'll see how to uh, use uh, CAT to perform a Pareto front analysis uh, to uh, complete our process of uh, uh, selection of the uh, most suitable conditions. Mm, we uh, go in CAT and uh, um, we'll uh, use uh, an, an example that we already used in, pre in, previous, in previous videos um, to uh, show how it works. First of all, we need to uh, perform the model computation uh, for different uh, uh, responses of our, uh, of our system, of, of, of our uh, experimental design, and then we'll see how to perform the prediction. So, first of all, we go in model computation, independent variables, we'll use the data that are contained in CCD2 matrix, uh, we remember that we have the variables in the first three columns and now we are going to uh, perform the computation on the fourth column that uh, contains the conversion. Okay, okay, we use residuals and uh, now the uh, model computation is complete. Uh, using this model we'll perform a prediction um, of uh, 77 points that we uh, already defined uh, as uh, shown in the previous uh, uh, video. Uh, the, mm, the points are contained in the matrix uh, cp.cod uh, and uh, we want to use all the variables. Okay, now uh, we see here that uh, in this new matrix that is con conversion dot pad prediction uh, we have uh, 77 uh, rows and uh, in particular in the first column we have the predicted conversion for each of the 77 points we do the same for uh, two additional responses that we are interested in to use in the Pareto analysis and uh, then we'll see how to manage them so we uh, again, perform the model computation for another response that is uh, the mm, percentage of the product and is contained, the data are contained in uh, column 5. Okay, okay, and then again we perform the prediction on the same point, so for all the variables. Okay. And then uh, now these data are saved in prod product.pred. The last uh, response we are interested in is uh, uh, unknown impurity 2 uh, that is uh, uh, contained in uh, the number 7, the, col the column number 7. We perform the model computation and then the prediction. The same points. Now we have uh, three different uh, matrices uh, with the, the, in the first column the prediction of uh, our uh, responses. Now uh, starting from the, uh, all the predicted values we want to uh, merge them into a single matrix uh, to be used uh, for the Pareto analysis. So first of all uh, we uh, take this uh, uh, conversion pred uh, matrix and we copy it into a, a new generic prediction folder okay we want to overwrite it and then mm, we uh, merge this matrix with the other two that we created before so we take uh, pred and we merge it with uh, product prediction okay uh, the, mm, the software here uh, wants to know if we want to merge it vertically or not. In this case we do not want to uh, merge vertically, so we select no. We do the same thing with the third matrix, so the one for unknown impurity 2. That was UK2, not red. Sorry, UK2. 
okay this way we have uh, uh, that uh, the uh, PRED matrix uh, is now composed of all the columns that we had before but we are interested only in uh, the prediction for conversion product and unknown impurity so we select uh, and uh, with a uh, control uh, left click uh, we select all the columns that we uh, do not uh, want to use and uh, with the uh, right click uh, we can select delete so uh, this uh, matrix uh, is now composed uh, of only the predicted values uh, for the three responses okay now mm, we can use this matrix to perform the Pareto front analysis so again in the uh, MLRDOI tab uh, we select Pareto front uh, the matrix uh, that we want to analyze is PRED and uh, we use all the values okay now uh, we have to indicate uh, uh, for each uh, response uh, if uh, it should be maximized or minimized it is clear that we want to maximize conversion we want to maximize the product but uh, we want to minimize the unknown impurity too okay now a new matrix uh, that is called uh, non-dom non-dominated points uh, was created uh, this matrix uh, is, uh, as you can see, uh, composed of uh, a certain number of rows uh, of the non-dominated points. For each uh, response, uh, we have the predicted value. Um, clearly, it is not so easy to uh, analyze this kind of uh, uh, this kind of data, and so the, probably the best way is to use a graphical approach. Uh, so, mm, we are from the bivariate uh, tab. We can select plot. Uh, x versus y and uh, now we will uh, show a plot uh, where the uh, on the x-axis will have the prediction for example for conversion and uh, this is uh, done this way so we use all the rows and the first column of the matrix and on the y-axis uh, we put uh, the uh, unknown impurity to content so the third column we use row names uh, as tags okay this is the graph uh, and uh, this is the result of the Pareto front analysis uh, we can see here that uh, uh, you, we, uh, we have conversion and here the unknown impurity to content and for example it is quite easy mm, to understand that if we for example, we set uh, uh, two percent, uh, the maximum level of unknown impurity two that can be uh, managed by our process. Uh, we know that probably we'll have to select uh, mm, conditions uh, of experiment 35, but uh, uh, at the same time we know that probably we won't be able to uh, have a, a conversion higher than 94%. Mm, on the other hand, if we want to achieve a higher com conversion, so maybe over 95%, we probably need to select uh, experiment 31, for example, but at the same time we also know that we, uh, we, we must uh, accept uh, that probably that we'll have the formation of an impurity 2 at a level that is between 2 and 2.5. Once we have uh, selected the uh, experiment uh, of our interest, uh, we can uh, check on uh, the, the matrix that is uh, still here the uh, predicted values for all the responses.